All right, hey Leo. So Leo, I am doing a read for you guys. This is a singles read. This is for those of you who um, are not wanting anybody from the past. All right, so we're done with the past, we're moving forward. For some of you, this could be a confirmation read. For others of you, the intention is set 30 days from today. So welcome if you guys are new, subscribe if you, if you feel inclined. And um, if this does not resonate with your energy and your situation, you guys check your other placements, okay? So I'm using this deck right here to pull your current energy and your situation. Um, Pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm gonna jump right in for Leo. Leo's current energy. All right, so your current energy. Okay, here's what I feel. You guys have, um, this is what I feel. You've, you've, um, you've closed the cycle out on something right here. All right, and I feel it could be um, a long distance uh, relationship um, for some of you. And with the Nine of Swords, this is stress and worry and anxiety. And I almost feel like this situation just put you in this mode where you were like, um, I can't deal with this anymore. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling um, like this, but I do feel like it's the closing of a cycle on something that was long distance, okay? The Three of Wands, that speaks of distance and travel. Um, so I feel like there was travel involved in this connection, but I feel um, for whoever I'm talking to, you're coming out of this energy. Um, I feel like it's something that you've closed off. You've closed it down. So you're, you're, I, I do too, with this, um, energy, I feel like you're done with it. So let's just see what your situation is for Leo. What is Leo's current situation? All right. Wow. Okay, so um, I feel like a sudden um, turn of events has uh, just uh, came in for you. So I feel like I'm, I'm speaking to, um, I, I'm going to say maybe 50-50, all right? You could be here because you've recently met somebody. You could be here because um, you're just wondering what's coming in. But if, if this hasn't already changed the cycle, um, it's going to. All right, look at what we have. We have the Knight, the Queen, and the King of Pentacles, you guys. So this is telling me we have a divine couple or um, you're, you're going to be receiving this. I'm just telling you. I know this is your, this is your situation. Uh, I feel like some of you guys could have met this person recently. Okay, and for others of you, um, it's been a long time coming, but what's coming in is divine counterparts, all right? So this is somebody, um, and, and I know that this is your situation, but I can't help but tell you, um, this is, is it's going to happen, all right? If it, if it hasn't happened, this is going to be your situation. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, for whoever I'm talking to, I feel like you've been single for a minute, all right? Um, but you, this is your energy. So if you haven't met this person yet, what this is telling me is that you won't accept anything less than the real deal, okay? So the person that's coming towards you or the one that's here. This person's energy. All right. Wow, so this person, um, all right, I feel too, they've been, they, they've been uh, right here at a crossroads. They haven't, uh, um, they haven't jumped on the first thing that's come in their sights. They don't want to. All right, this is somebody who wants to build an empire. This is somebody who wants to co-create and make, a, make existence in this life um, something worth um, living for. Okay, the two of wands, this is, a, this is a very mature energy. So this is not somebody who wants to sleep around with people. Okay, we have the sun card coming out. Um, so this tells me that this, this person has um, learned what it what it means to embody um, happiness. All right, and they also know how to vibrate happiness towards other people. So it's not just like one-sided. And with the Queen of Wands, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who knows their value, knows their worth, has a good self-esteem, good self-confidence, probably has a lot of eyes on them. Um, it could be that they 
are a public figure or somebody that's seemingly in the spotlight, right? Um, this person, um, I, I, they care about their appearance. They care about, um, they, it's, it's like a, it's not a superficial form of care though. This is somebody who cares um, about their own self love and their own self worth. So let's just see what this person's situation is. All right, so their situation, wow. Look at that, just like you come out with the King and Queen of Pentacles, they're coming out with the King and Queen of Wands. So they're looking for their match. <laughs> Look at, they've left all the BS behind. They're not doing any more toxic situations either. They're in the same energy, Leo. With Temperance card right here, um, this is telling me that their situation is balanced. Um, they're ready to give and receive love and give and receive harmony, give and receive joy. Um, this is somebody who is um, also uh, probably pretty spiritual. Okay. Um, I, um, I don't know why, but meditation is coming into mind. So I feel like this person actually um, invests a lot of time into self-care. That This is very important to this person. Okay. Um, this person, they know what it means to love themselves. So let's just see what else, what else is this person like for Leo? Wow. So what are they like? They're, this person, for, for what this person's embodied um, or had to go through in the past, I got to tell you, they're not going to let anybody in. Okay, this person knows what it feels like to be left out in the cold, abandoned. Um, this is somebody who, I, th okay, um, this is somebody who's came all the way from the bottom to the top. All right, and I'm not, I don't, I, I don't know their situation. I'm not saying they're, they're a superstar, but I'm not saying they can't be one. But what I feel is this person has experienced a lot of life areas and they know what it, it is to be at the bottom and they know what it is to be at the top. Okay, so this person, I feel they've worked their ass off all their life. Um, they're not just giving themselves to anybody. With the Eight of Swords, this is somebody who's been through a lot of suffering, okay? Um, they know what it feels like to, to be um, bound to people and things and um, situations that don't serve them, all right? So they're not just going to let anybody in because of how hard they've had to work also. And with the Empress card coming out right here, this is Divine Feminine Energy. So it doesn't matter if this is a male or a female. This is somebody who um, they embody self-love. This is growth. Um, this is somebody who... Um, knows how to give love. Um, this is a good mom, a good dad. This is a, a successful um, um, partner, right? This is somebody who owns their own business. Um, I, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's very well known for whoever I'm talking to. Um, let's just see what their intentions are towards you. So their intentions towards you, it's, it's going to be something that's very slow moving with this person. All right. Um, I feel like for what this person's been through, they don't just go and trust any, um, they don't just go and trust and let anybody in. All right. You have to be a, a pretty special person when it comes to, um, getting, um, your foot in the door with this person okay with the moon card coming out i feel it's not that this person has um secrets it's that this person i i feel like um i don't know why i feel this person has a very um for whoever this is i feel like they are a well-known person but they have a very private life okay so um whatever happens with you in this connection they're gonna want to take it real slow i almost feel like trust is a big thing with this person all right so they're gonna want to take it slow so let's just see what your advice is leo for this connection all right so your advice so for those of you who haven't been um in union quite yet 
you could be seeing a lot of threes. We have the three of pentacles, which speaks of partnerships, best friends. That's a, um, that's signing contracts. That's a successful card. Okay. Um, I feel um, you guys are going to recognize each other as a past life connection with the six of cups coming out. Um, this you, you're there. This is going to bring up a lot of nostalgia to you. So it could be somebody that you've known um, from the way back. All right, like you were kids. This isn't a, a past romantic connection, but I feel like this person brings nostalgia um, right here. Um, I feel like you're going to recognize this person as a past life connection. All right. But what your team is saying is the new beginning is here. It's coming in the next 30 days. All right. You and this person, um, you're going to be build. You're going to build a lot together. All right. But this is going to be something that, um, slowly, um, unfolds over time. So don't try to rush it. All right. But, um, just as inspired, just as, uh, um, happy. Okay, you guys are going to also feel very passionate about this connection. Um, I feel like I feel like you guys are relighting a spark in each other that, that maybe went out, you know, um, some time ago. And with the Three of Cups, your team is just saying, this is, this is unity right here. This is um, happiness, all right? Um, you guys deserve it, and it's coming to you, all right? Patience is paying off for whoever I'm talking to, Leo. So... I'm going to pull some initials, you guys, and it's the um, the person that's coming into you. It's going to be their initials, not so much yours. If yours comes out, great. Um, so for Leo. All right. So we have a U. I. E, an extra E. We have um, M or W. We have X and N. Okay, Leo. So I'm going to leave it right there. I hope if you guys are experiencing this, you guys let me know. And um, if you're not experiencing yet, I hope that you guys do come back and comment to this read. All right, Leo, I love you guys. Best of luck.